Hi, Sydney. Thank you so much for being here today for this interview. Um, we'd love to hear a little bit more about your background and who you are, if you want to quickly introduce yourself. Yeah. Hi, I'm Sydney. I grew up playing soccer, basketball, and lacrosse all throughout high school. And you're currently at UPenn, is that correct? Yes, I'm currently a sophomore at UPenn, uh, majoring in cognitive science. And you previously played lacrosse in college as well? Yes, yeah, so my freshman year, I played lacrosse here, um, but no longer um, I'm, I'm on the team. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, I know you've played sports your entire life, so the topic of this interview today is about um, experience you might have had when you made a mistake that might have lost lost the game for your team. Um, a really tough thing to to go through. So if you want to explain that experience and what happened. Yeah, so this was my junior year of high school. I was playing, it was the fall, so it was soccer season. Um, it was a tie game, 1-1. We went in, it was during section, so there had to be a winner. Um, we went into overtime, no score, uh, led into penalty penalty kicks and you know penalty kicks were something that we our team always kind of like shied away from practicing because they weren't really ever relevant um and then once section comes we practice and we pick uh five to ten people who would be the shooters and I was the fourth or fifth person to shoot um and I was really confident. I wasn't really worried. I was like, oh, I know I know what I'm going to do. I had my uh, placement nailed down and I went up there. And at this point, I needed to make the goal in order to win. And I uh, I shot and I hit the post. And in my head, it's like, how? Like, how on earth could I have possibly just done that? The goalie was nowhere near. And I just hit the post. Um, so we ended up losing that game. And that was the end of our season. At that moment, it was like, it felt like the entire world was just like shutting down. There's so much pressure around like in high school, especially I was the athlete. My identity was like this athlete. So then it felt like my worth was based on how many goals I scored, how many points I made and to then fail and not do what I was supposed to do. You know, it was really took a toll on me. And in that moment, I ran to the sideline. My team, my team was really supportive. Um. Like, you know, they know it, it didn't just come down to that final goal. It was the entire game that was being played. But in that moment, I felt like I let them down. Um, and <clears throat> they were supportive. My coach was great. Um, it was the end of our season. But and then I knew, like, we, I still had one more year. Like, it wasn't my senior year. So that was really nice for me. But I looked at the seniors and seeing all them crying and felt that I had done that to them. In that moment, I cried right away and I was really upset. But and it stuck with me for a really long time. I went into then basketball season like right away so it kind of was like a, a quick turnaround um but even like in every game that I play there's always this pressure to like score more goals than I did previously or more points than I did previously and be the best it was like my I felt like my identity was wrapped around like Sydney was this athlete and I had to then play in college and do what I had to be the best and it was almost like this perfectionist um aspect of what high school sports are like and then you don't realize like the toll that could take on you in, in, in college yeah completely no you can tell based on the way you described this experience that it definitely resonated with you deeply so thank you so much for sharing that um what are some things after that experience that you could say affected you specifically your mental health aside from things like performance anxiety um do you think you felt there's really doubt on yourself and if so like yeah, how long did that those feelings last after this experience and how did your teammates lift you up? You know, I've always been someone who is very organized, very good at time managing, but that also like has led to a little bit of like perfectionism and putting a lot of pressure on myself throughout not just sports and in, in academics, whatever it is. Um, I think, you know, this experience was kind of like my worst nightmare. You know, it's like I always like I think I always like I'm always focused on the small things and I'm I'm an overthinker. So and I think sports has honestly made me that way. It's like, I didn't just play a game and never watch that film again. Like I was always looking at it, like whether it was the the bad things or the good things, it was almost like as part of my identity was this sports. It was like, I felt like I had to like go back and like, look at like me scoring that goal and then me not scoring that goal. Like I, I would, I was, I was like obsessed. And, you know, then in college in like recent time, which is about a year ago now, 
um, I came to play the sport that I love, which was lacrosse. I grew up playing sports and I like couldn't imagine not playing in college. Um, and I came and I not only transitioning into freshman year, you know, I loved it at first. I loved playing. I loved being on the field. And then all of a sudden there was like this switch when like things got hard. It was like, I felt like I was losing myself. I wasn't like, I felt like I couldn't just, I wanted to be into the, I wanted to be like the first in the, in, in the locker room to shower. I didn't want to be on that field anymore. And I felt all that pressure. Like I felt the pressure to want to be there, the pressure to do what my parents wanted me to do or or what everyone in high school saw me to be like this athlete. And now I'm just not playing anymore. And that was my decision. And my decision to step back from that was like one of the hardest decisions I've ever had to do. But I knew that I had to because of the amount of anxiety and like it was taking away my self-worth. And I knew that that couldn't be how it should be. Specifically in that moment when you missed that PK and then you guys lost yeah. that section final game, would you say that that's like, that moment felt like it fractured your identity because of that pressure you know I don't think I'll I could say like right now that stuck with me but I think it really did stick with me and it it always was in the back of my mind in college or whatever it was about like that feeling of letting people down or letting my coaches down letting my teammates down that feeling always sticks with me whether that's being a friend or being like an act, even like in like school, like just like, I, I feel like there's just always this pressure as, and especially as an athlete and this mental toll that it takes on you. There's a feeling of letting people down and not only yourself down, but like doing what others expect of you. Yeah. So, so that pressure really flooded into your own lifestyle of um, this feeling of having to be a, a pedestal on everything that you have to do. And what was the initial response from your teammates when they, when you when you missed the PK? Yeah, you know, I think like my two closest friends, they, you know, they supported me right away. But there was definitely people who I felt were just upset with the whole situation that they, you know, didn't come over to me and say it's okay. It was more of like them being upset, them crying and never really addressing it to me. Not that they needed to, but, you know, it, it made with like that silence with nothing being said made me put all that extra pressure on myself and be like, you know, I did that. I let them down. And that was yeah. really hard. So just to overall, to summarize some of these key points. Um, and again, thank you so much for sharing this with us. I know it's some of this stuff is not easy to talk about, but just to summarize those key points, what would you say are a few things from that moment that affected your mental health? Just maybe loss of identity for a moment just um you know things like that that you can just if you can recall from that just to summarize I definitely would say you know loss of identity but then also this idea of putting all this worth onto sports and what sports makes of me and you know like it it it, it was such a struggle for me like to this day you know to be like no like there are other parts of my personality there are other parts of my identity that are not just Sydney the soccer player Sydney the, the lacrosse player and in that moment it felt like my world was wrapped around that one second that one goal so then to be able to like you know from a, a mental standpoint get rid of that idea that like this identity is your only identity that is like one of the hardest things that I still deal with today yeah well, listen, thank you so much for, for your responses. I don't want to take too much more of your time, but we really appreciate it. And um, for having me. Yeah, of course. Um, so I'll leave you, but thank you again and, and have a great night. Thank you.